nafasi fupi tu kwa maana Mungu ameniambia ni wakati wa kutiwa mafuta. Sema ni mafuta. Mafuta sio kitu mtu anazaliwa naye. E, toa mikono jera. Mikono jera. Sasa siku sema toa mikono nini? Jera. <laughs> mafuta sio kitu mtu anazaliwa naye. Mafuta anointing ni kitu unatiwa. Na anointing ni kitu ukitiwa mtu hujua. Na sasa kuna mafuta. Ukiangalia kitabu cha Luka ukulasa wa ine aya 18 unaona ile jina imetumika hapo Luke chapter 4 verse 18 inasema roho wa Bwana yuu juu yangu kwa maana amenitia mafuta amenitia ni kitu kinafanyika na unajua na Yesu anasema huyu roho wa Mungu sio tu kukaa na kaa juu yangu Kristo anasema I now can confirm kuna mafuta amenitia now namsikiza vizuri anointing is supernatural hakuna wakati mafuta ya Bwana ukitiwa itakuwa ya kawaida mafuta ni, ni tabia ni nguvu fulani ya Mungu huingia mtu ili kutoka hapo kuanze kutokea fever inayopita akili yako uanze kutenda mambo yasiyo ya kawaida praise the name of the lord na msidaganywe anointing can operate hata kwa business eh bwana asiwe sana mimi si mara moja au bili nimepata watu tumeombea ada anointing and their businesses zinabadilika japo unapata kumetokea deliverance fulani haya anointing inaweza ingia hata kwa family mupate familia yenu imeingia katika enzi fulani ya anointing yes it can work anointing yaweza ingia akili ya mtu upate akili yako ambao bereni haikuwa na idea haikuwa inajua now your mind inakibia kuliko saa the mind is so much working hallelujah anointing inaweza ingia hata kwa mwili kama mjui kama vile Elijah aliambia Ahab muambie Ahab akibie vua inanyesha sana lakini si Ahab si Elijah alikibia kawapita at anointing whereby anointing atakia kwa mwili ukute mwili wako ambao ulikuwa nauma ulikuwa hata huwezi tembea ulikuwa kwamba wewe ni mzito ulikuwa ukienda kazini unasikia kufuka kazi saa ine now your body is so swift kwamba unaulegefu una speed una nguvu ya kiakili na mwili ya kwenda kwa high speed Amen. Bereni ukifanya kazi mpaka saa sita unachoka unasikia hata unataka kuenda kula ma saa kumi. But these days unakuta kwamba hata usiku ndio unakusimamisha usiku wenyewe. You really motivated by anointing. Anointing can operate katika every sphere ya mtu. Anointing yaweza leta an altar in your family. Mafuta ikianza kazi isababishe madhabahu fulani katika familia familia yako ukute kwamba madhabahu iliyokuwa na tawara ya magojwa watu kukufa ovyo ovyo na nini the, the altar the anointing has brought about a new altar hallelujah bwana asiwe sana family is getting tumeenda hapa kuomba na we are yet to visit families When we anoint those families, things just change. Nakuta watu wanaanza kupata kazi. I receive reports here. Bishop Tago Mukanyange kwetu muka anoint. All my brothers are employed. My mom and dad were in Ghana. Hallelujah. Baba Azua idiabia, alienda siku moja kwao, akakuta baba yake na baba yake wako chini ya muti pahali na kudagiza, wanakaa tu ni story. 
angalia hapa sasa ha hiyo ni kitu kwao ilikuwa ndoto na akaribia baba akijaribu kutoka kuna kitu kina mpira pia rudi hello bado na hakuwa nakaa pamoja alikuwa ameenda hata na mke mwingine we never negotiated at leave the other wife <laughs> no the anointing worked <laughs> mzee anakaa hapo sasa na kale kama mama kaze tikaka kafupi hivi kijaribu kwenda tulia makuta na walikuwa unajua hao watu hao walikuwa wanapigana hao fabia zingine walichinda kwa nini ngumi wakikuta baba jibia unajua walikuwa wanapigana baba lazima akikuta sister yake ni kobi tua si ndio kwa hiyo watu hao walikuwa ni kama Las Vegas Tyson na Zina na Hollywood nao wanaweza kutana wanakula nyaba paka naoliza na ile hata vita ilienda wapi unajua unaweza kupata paka una, una miss kitu Haleluya. Ukusikia baba bila kwa alituambia. Asijua alituambia yeye alikuwa baba alikuwa wa hasira nyingi, hasira siku moja kakombolewa. Kukawa na amani mpaka mwanzo kabla na ile hasira ilienda wa. <laughs> Deliverance, anointing. Huwezi dai uko na mafuta kama mafuta haijatangaza a new altar in you na katika familia. Amen. And that's what we say kwamba twataka kutembelea family. For instance, Yesu anaposema roho wa Mungu amenitia mafuta. Ukiangalia Yesu anaelezea kazi za mafuta yale. Na kazi hizo anasema kuwahubiria maskini habari jema. Haya amenituma kuwatagazia wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao. If you check the way anointing works anointing in our our struggle just check the statement hapa isembi kwenda kungangana na waliofugwa mafuta inasema enda uwatagazie kufuguliwa ukitaka kujua wakati muumbili akawa na anointing hasa kwa mikutano ya revival na injili normally anointing huleta mamlaka ya mwisho Haleluya That's why Eli alipopata Hana anaomba alimwambia enda na Mungu wa Israeli akujalie anointing declares Haleluya Unaweza angalia mtu mwambie nisalimie nasema kutoka leo utamtumikia Yehova Labda hata ni Muislamu Labda hata ni devil worship amwambia leta mkono mm. Mafuta ikisema from today wewe utatumikia Bwana. Mafuta ikisema imesema hata aenda wapi? Hallelujah. And that's why unaona Yesu asema mafuta aliyomwagiwa ina inatangaza inatangaza kufunguliwa. Si kuuliza wafunguliwe, si kungangana wafunguliwe, ni kutangaza. Amen. Na pia vipofu wapate kuona anointing declares things uh-huh. aha na, na aha na walio setwa ha walio setwa kukaliwa haye haisemi word high court kuomba ruhusa yasema walio setwa waache huru ni kwa kuambia wewe nini bana wewe tabea wewe nini shida ile lipo mandeni wewe nini nini nakuumiza wewe eh da hiyo kesi imeisha anointing inaweka huru inatangaza hayo you need to know that na nimeomba hii kanisa and god is saying wengi tumekaa na ugumu sana lakini utakapoenda kuomba mungu ameni promise utapata maisha ya kutiwa mafuta hallelujah hallelujah kitu kimoja ambacho utagudua Bwana akikutia mafuta ni kwamba ukiangalia kitabu cha Isaya kumi, Bible inasema ni kitu ambacho inaweza kuwa na maana lakini maana kubwa ambayo tunaona katika Isaya kumi, aya 27 inasema hivi 
inasema tena itakuwa katika siku hiyo mzigo wake utaodoka begani mwako na nira yake shigoni mwako nayo nira itaharibiwa kwa sababu ya kutiwa kutiwa mafuta ni kitu mtu hupewa what is anointing anointing is empowerment from god which allows the natural man to accomplish great supernatural things anointing ni nguvu anointing ni kutiwa nguvu now if you notice inasema empowerment ni wewe kutiwa nguvu na bwana ili kutoka sasa mambo yako mengi yawe ya kiungu na yatende kazi kwa revo ya kiungu na msiogope na msidaganyike it is possible it is possible usikia hapa watu kama 20 next month wanaingia ndege kwenda china kununua vitu ukienda kununua unapata kwa wepesi usioelewa ukija they are cleared easily ukienda kuuza zinanunuliwa haraka mafuta huleta wepesi huodoa ugumu kwa nini magari ipelekwe service iwekwe mafuta kwa sababu magari iko na piston na nini na kitu kimoja ufanya engine ikibie bila kerere na bila ugumu ni mafuta murango kama huu hizi hedges mnaona hapa ukitaka murango ufuguke vizuri tia mafuta mafuta huodoa kelele mafuta huleta wepesi hiyo sasa dio bwana anaongea kuhusu nguvu ya roho wa bwana itakao fanya kazi already roho wa bwana uko naye kipindi kile roho wa bwana uko naye you speak in tongues kipindi kile sasa unaigizwa ni kipindi cha kutiwa mafuta semeni amen bwana asifiwe anointing is god's move has kiza agari vizuri anointing ni hivi tuseme <laughs> ni hivi haya agari hapa ndio anointing ni utebezi wa mungu unaofanya na wewe umufu <laughs> there is no way you can be anointed if god is not moving we say anointing is god's move that moves you to act and speak on his behalf producing great works ni utebezi wa mungu unaosababisha na wewe pia utebe na umene mama kubwa na uzae maajabu that's what god want to do in our lives may the lord receive praise hallelujah bwana asifiwe now in most cases mafuta haya ya bwana ni ajabu sana kama tutajitoa kwa bwana and god will really, really help us hallelujah now siri moja ya anointing ina mambo mawili matatu mambo mawili matatu ukienda katika kitabu cha Luka ukurasa wa ine aya 13 ukienda Luka ukurasa wa ine aya 13 utaona kitu kinaandikwa hapa Yesu akajibu setani akamwambia imenenwa usimjaribu bwana Mungu wako basi alipomaliza kila jaribu ibilishi akamwacha akaenda zake kwa muda Ukiangalia sasa Luke 4 verse 14 inasema naye Yesu akarudi kwa nguvu za roho in other words Yesu akarudi galiraya na anointing now anointing pia ni matokeo ya mtu ku graduate kutoka kwa mambo matatu one shaka anointing cannot work wakati you are double minded lazima ukae mbele za Mungu kwa maombi mpaka hiyo roho ya shaka hasa kwa akili iishe kitu kingine ambacho 
lazima kiishe ndio mafuta yaweza kazi ndani yako ni ile tamaa ya mwili tamaa ya mwili mafuta ya bwana haifanyi kazi wakati tamaa ya mwili inakuzubua you are still struggling na tamaa fulani it can't work una tamaa ya usharati una tamaa ya kukura kura ovyo ovyo we ni mtu abaye huna mipaka huna mipaka hujaribiwa ovyo ovyo no 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 you must overcome your last kama katika siri ya mwili wako ugali you are struggling with immorality katika akili you are struggling na hasira mafuta sasa haina jia lazima kutokee jia ya mafuta na bwana atakutakasa kwa maana ameamua kukutumia haleluya bwana asifiwe and that's what naona katika Matthew chapter 4 verse 11 pia inasema Matthew 4 11 wakati shetani alimaliza o majaribu bible inasema nini aha shetani akaondoka and angels ministered to Jesus graduate shetani aondoke na malaika wa Bwana wachukue ushukani wa maisha yako that is very important katika mtu ambaye atatumiwa na Bwana katika anointing yake Bwana atusaidie sana siri nyingine ya mafuta ni maombi now nataka tuone how Jesus used to pray dio awe na anointing jambo la kwanza daily prayer daily prayer mafuta si mafuta ya Bwana haifanyi kazi si kitu utaka kwa store ni kitu kina flow daily Jameni hii maji iko kwa fridge si ni maji na flow kila wakati anointing kitu kina flow sio kitu ambao utaweka pahali kama kibuyu lisa for sana sana katika utendaji kazi wa mafuta katika utendaji nini kazi utendaji kazi unaweza aya si semi anointing si kitu unaweza weka vile lakini anointing hasa ni kitu ambacho kinafanyiwa kazi daily for instance ukiangalia mark chapter 1 verse 5 kama ungetaka anointing ya Yesu lazima tuwe na tabia kama ya Yesu Mariko moja aya ya 35 Bible inasema hata alfajiri na mapema sana akaondoka akatoka akaenda zake mahali pasipokuwa na watu akaomba huko Hiyo ni morning glory ya Yesu Hiyo ndio morning glory ya Yesu In the morning having risen a long while before daylight Ndio mwambia muamka saa 9 He went out and departed to a solitary place and there he prayed Kitabu akinapita waamuke Yesu ameomba kama 3 hours No kitazama Peter alipokuja aliambia Yesu Yesu hujui wale watu ulihubiria jana wanakutafuta na Yesu alikuwa na revelation akambia Petero siendi huku tena nimetumwa ngambo ile mtu aliyeoba sana ana ufunuo asiyeoba ako na history na situations mtu asiye na mafuta hutawaliwa na hali mtu aliye na mafuta hutawaliwa na revelation na insight mpya for instance kuna kitu atakuambia hali ya uchumi haiwezi lalia mafuta ya bwana utaona tu kama wewe una biashara na uchumi unaharibu biashara za watu mafuta ulio mwagiwa yanakunenea siri ya kutokea because hali ya uchumi cannot suppress the anointing cannot That's why Elijah wakati eh, mnyama kuguru aliasha kuleta nini nyama kizima kikauka aliabwaje ondoka uende sa Salafath nimeamuru mwanamke mjane akulishe you see mafuta haiwezi haiwezi if god has truly anointed you hautakosa sauti kama kijito kimekauka ni wapi Mungu amesema mtu wa mafuta wake apate maji God will show you Mafuta huondoa hiyo blockage unajua ile blockage kwamba hujui kitu huelewi huwa inaisha 
na mapendo ukitaka kujua uko na mafuta hiyo kitu huondoka hii hali ya kusidwa sijui ni ada wapi nimefika mwisho mafuta ya bwana haiogei hivyo it always speaks the way may the lord bless the church the lord keep you amen tabia ingine ya anointing iko katika luka 9 aya ya 28 luke 9 verse 28 hebu angalia hapo as i finish now luke 9 verse 28 <coughs> inasema hivi baada ya maneno haya yapata siku nane aliwatoa petro na yohana na yakobo akapanda mlimani ili kuomba ikawa katika kusali kwake sura ya uso wake ikageuka mavasi yake yakawa meupe ya kitete ya kimetameta now if you read in some versions as a new king james version let me see mm -hmm. uh, no no king james version i think you know some he prayed until he changed kuna maombi nataka kwa kwa introduce kwake Maombi sio tu kupeleka mahitaji. Maombi. Let me tell you, ukienda kuomba usikae una nguvu, kaa hapo. Stay there until you change. Ukitaka kujua anointing imekuja. It brings change. Na mabadiliko ambayo inaleta number one, is change of position and change of situation. Change of position and change of situation. Hallelujah. Dege ikipaa juu kama unaingia Jabo Jet au unaingia Kenya Airways. Ukiwa airport unaona tu hapo tu airport. Ikianza kwenda juu unaona airport, unaanza kuona Feather Estate, unaanza kuona Savona Estate. Ikienda juu sana unaona hata Kangembe. Ikienda juu Nairobi unaona uko chini. The more you are you change the position the more we be see mtumwa wa mambo fulani your view changes kile ulikuwa unakiona a close unakiona ukiwa juu you must change you must change the view that's why na nikauliza hivi oba mpaka ubadilike don't leave your heart unchanged no siogope hata kama sasa kulara rara hapo kwa magoti. Kwa hiyo unaumiza nani? Rara hapo. Hata ukikuto umegoka fro na kichwa. Weka hapo. Ukikuto umemwaga mata usiondoke ka hapo. Ukiulizwa abia am misbehaving in God's presence. Ka hapo until you receive power. Mimi si mimi nikisikia sina nguvu siondokagi. Aha, see your doki and I can stay for hours. Hours. Ni masaa mimi nakosa. Kama leo nikosa masaa. Nikata kwa hapa 5. Na sasa already naona sasa imefika 4:30. Unasikia? Because mambo mengi sana hayatoki kwangu, yatoka juu. Kama uko na akili kwamba wewe ndio umebeba mambo mengi akwambia Mungu hutaoba. Mimi sina hiyo issue. I don't have so many stories. Mwenja kona story ni yeye. Muumba. Mungu, just give God chance. I tell you, you know a lot of things. Hata kuhusu wakanisa, kuhusu inchi. Mimi kuna mai nafika na jikata ni naona. I can see washirika. Naona wengine. Na mungu wengine anayawa. Ananiwesha. Praise the Lord. Unaeza ona so many things. Na ni vizuri sana kuoba mpaka ubadrike. Haya. Kitu kingine ni kujua kwamba eh, lazima ujue your private prayer is the secret of your public power. Your private prayer maombi yako ya siri ndio fuguo ya guvu na ushindi utakupata ukienda kwa soko na ukienda kupamba na watu. Kama katika siri hujafauru katika public hutafauru. Wewe ni matokeo ya mahali ulifika wakati ulikuwa umepiga magoti. 
Ukiangalia Matthew chapter 14. Matthew 14. Matthew 14. Uh, Matthew 14 verse 23 nasema Naye alipokwisha. Now I just want to tell you something now. Niangalieni. Another na msikia hii. Another secret of anointing. Na hii mshike. Ni kupata nafasi. Uache kazi zako, uache family, uache shughuli, uwe pahali pahali peke yako. Paha, Mungu hutamani sana. Kuna mambo mimi kuna wakati niliomba sana. Naomba siku 14 naomba bwana kaniambia sasa sitaki hiyo sasa. Nikaamba nataka uwete pahali no usionane na watu. Ibani e, hata mahali kulikuwa na niliona tu miti, nyoni, nini. Hata hapo. Na nikaamba nikae hapo na nisikunywe kitu na nikae hata maji sikunywe. Bwana kaniambia kile the deliverance unaotafuta ya kanisa. Hii ah, si kawaida. Inahitaji, bwana kaniambia inahitaji uwe pahali peke yako na uwe na dry fasting. Dry fasting. Haya, let me tell you, anointing is expensive. Catherine Kuhlman alikuwa nasema, watu wanaenjoy enjoy miracles, but to her, that was very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. Na hii mamba ya dry fasting sometime, it has an effect. Na, 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 watu, na ni fasting ambao kutebei na huoni watu. It's when God, God agetaka. Uwe kama Musa. I'm alone with God. Iyo ni si moja ya anointing. Ukikatha ho hiya. Shuguri, shuguri, shuguri. Kuna mambo haita tedeka. Kama unategemea kazi zako na shuguri zako sana. Kwa ba, you can't cross your business for two days. Uwe kwa murima. Then kuna kitu about now or later you will miss. Ukiagalia madhaya kumina ine, aya 23. Kumi na ina, aya, aya, aya. Nae alipokuisha kuwa aga makutano. Siyo nasa mewa aga. Edeni. Sitaki watu sasa. Although Christ needed people. Sinikweli. Siyaizaji watu wa waponye. Kuna wakati hata kama wameleto wagojwa. Hata kama ni nani. Sema sasa siponyi. Na waga watu. Alipokuisha kuwa aga makutano. Alipanda mulimani faragani. Kweda kuomba. Kulipo kuwa jioni alikuweko huko peke yake. Semeni peke yangu. Have you been peke yako? Waja wabe ya bedroom kwako. Umetoka inje. Waja wabe ya katoroni. Mwari muna omba, muna hito pamoja azubui moningrore. Kerele kerele ya watu. Hii, hii hayogei mwabe ya prayer center. Inasema pahali peke yangu. Nobody else. Siku tatu ine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kuna pasta moja idiabia. Alikosa pahali pake peke yake. Akaenda hoteli boja. Akatafta room kule inje. Akaifuga. Akakasi kukatha hapa. Toki. Sabo yona. Pane muzito na hajuye taopea wapi. It's sometimes... It's good to be alone with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bwana sana. Siri ingine, siri ingine ya anointing ni mpango unawafauru wa fasting. Ukona mpango ambao hakuna wakati utaacha wa maombi ya kufunga. Maombi ya kufunga. Katika kitabu cha Luka, Luke chapter 4 verse 14 inasema hivi. Inasema Verse 14. Yesu alipo maliza maombi ya kufunga. Eh? Siku arobaine. What happened? What's the outcome after fasting? Yesu akarudi kwa gubu za za roho. Akaenda kadiraya. Habari zake zikaenea. Katika nchi yote. Na hapo dipo alisa maje. Alipo alisa. Bada tuya fasting. Bada fasting. Diyo aliigia mana kwanza. Kwa sinakoku. Akasa maje. 
Roho wa Mungu wako juu yangu. Kwa sababu amenitia nini? Mafuta. You need to know kwamba mafuta inahitaji eh, na ukiangalia vizuri hii jambo limetajwa sana kitabu cha Mathayo 17:21 utaona hii mambo ya fasting and miracles and deliverance is related Matthew 17 verse 21 inasema hivi 17:21 inasema mm -hmm. lakini namna hii haitoki ila kwa kusali na kufunga we usijali hizo blackers zimewekwa hapo na watu wengine waliweka tutatoa baadaye tukifanya editing tunasema haikuwa kwa original ilikuweko unajua sasa wakati mwingine watu aina kama hii Lam, lakini namna hii haitoki which one this kind of demon now sijui kama unajua hiyo paper ilikuwa gani haya hii ni issue ya mzee aliyekuwa na kijana eh uh -huh ambaye ako na pepo bubu na epileptic. Haya, Kristo alipata wanafunzi wake tisa. Wameshindwa kuitoa. Na Yesu ameenda kwa mlima na wale wengine watatu. Aliposhuka, alipokaribia hiyo pepo, ukisoma Biblia, Jesus hapa alihudumu in phase 1 and phase 2. Basi pepo ilipomuona, ilimnyonga kijana na akatoa pofu. Now, Jesus akaacha kwanza kuitoa akafanya inquiry akauliza amekuwa hivi tangu lini baba akasema tagu utoto what is that unajua kuna mapepo mtu anaingia kwa sababu ilikuwa kwa wachawi ingine na kupata kwa maana wafanya usherati mpaka umelawa na wanaume madevo worshiper hamjui kwamba mwanaume au mwanamke ukilawa na yeye Wewe na yeye huwa mwili moja. Na dhabi ya sex, diyo dhabi peke yake, haitolewi. Mutu akiiba hii maji yako, akulipe, deni meisha. But you cannot remove immorality. It is in the body. Diyo dhabi peke yake, hufadwa dani ya mwili. Na watu wengi wamepata mapepo through immorality. Ulipatanishwa mwili. Na mwanamuke alie mchawi. Au wengine siku hizi, they are treated. Kwa hivyo mwe watu wa safi ya wapendwa. Na wea mbao na juu atukaba uji wa koko ulikuwa mepatanisho na unuwa. Pokea mwili uliye hekaru ya buwana. Na mawaza ya kare ya ishe. Amen. Buwana asifiwe. Sasa agalia umu toto. Yesu wa jimisa ilimpata akiwa mkubwa aurini. Kalizaliwa kakapata pepo. Kakwa kadogo. This demon ilikuwa mekaa. Tulikuwa na case kanisaletu wa gong. Ya mama amba mekaa kanisari zaidi ya meaka thati. Na nikabua mimi diyo key witness. Mimi ya shaka. Kwa ni wazawa na wazawa cha mtu wakia kipasa mama. Mama chiku. Iyo case kwa na kotini. Because bishop you are the only witness. Na mimi diyo hata siku weko nyinyi imanomo. Nikudua wengine walikuwa threatened kwa ba watawu hawa. Nikasama tuwede. Nikaita adu, adu poetu kati hapa. Lazima hiyo kesi tufauru. Uu mama muki muambia haumpati shaba is an issue. Muki zee mama na mfukuza is an issue. Advanced possession. Hameka hapo mpaka. Judge atasema kanisa mpatia pa hiba kukaa. But God, but God is so kind. Hello, praise God. Sasa, Iyo kesi meisha, by God's grace, wamepewa na ite days wa odoke. But it was threatening. Now, now pepo ikikaa pahali, kikaa sana, inadai advanced possession. Kwa sema, iyo pepo inakaa mpaka, mahali inakaa ni kama kwao. Paka inadai, hapa ni kwetu. That's how families are. Kuna family zina aina furani ya itak. Through sin. Kwamba, maabo furani in that family ni kama DNA. Pepo imeka mpaka inaigia kwa chromosomes na DNA. Unakuta hata mukizaa katoto kana tabia hiyo pepo. Hamu ya duwa hivyo? Kaya, haujaona mutu wabita. Akizaa katoto kadaaza hata 
Wacha hata kupika wengine. Kuuma nyonyo ya mami. Paka unashindwa kama yako na rani ni maroho ya kwao. Ukikapatia maziwa kana pia tink. Kwani kalikuwa chai na bwana. <laughs> na twingine ni tupone tu. Kana nyonya kana rara. Twingine kupuka macho ni gumu kana kaka hivi kama kanataka kupiga na Na ukiangalia Aya, buko tu na Yesu. Barikiweni. So, what? And, and, kasa mahili. Amekua hivita kusariwa. E, sawa. Yesu wakaitoa. Wanafuza waliusa. Kwa nini Jesus hatu getoa hii pepo? Mujue wanafuzi walikuwa mepewa guvu. Ya kutoa pepo. So, walikuwa mepewa. Sasa hapa waliambua sasa. Kira kira itajika hapa. Sio guvu ya kupewa. Ni guvu ya kujitafutia. Wakaambiwa sasa ile nilikuwa nimewapa sawa lakini aina kama hii itabidi hata wewe aboni ituma wewe mwenyewe ufuge na uombe usitegemee maombi yangu wakajua haya ni Yesu eh mlikuwa mmeweza kukua na mlaka sisi tunajua hata hakuna haja ya kuomba just your name walijaribu hiyo ikatoka ikaza hasitoki katika ah hasitoki wakauliza sasa binu gani tena wakaabua aina kama hiyo inahitaji maombi na kufu kuna aina fulani ya mashetani na evil powers katika families ambazo zinahitaji hiyo family tuombe na tufunge zaidi na tuache mchezo amen wacha ni maombi mnapaka ingine ambayo ina maana atomeita family together tuombe na wengine hapo ndio wakora zaidi hata mmoja ndiye mchawi wenu Tumeita hatu wafame, tuchikane, tuchikane mikono na nani. Alio, anaabudu ana wapi. Hata kama ni aniko yenu. Kuna tofauti ya usiano wa aniko na brother na damu ya kristo. That's why I tell people, tunapenda deliverance, nataka watu wa churches, taki wegi, hata wa shirika. Tufuge na tuombe. Na tukienda, family iketi chini. Ihudumiwe na wadu wameomba. Tuambia waokoke. And some of this wame tunayanda, unakuta, kama mmoja tulienda, tukakuta anko ni mchawi. Aigino na katoroka. Katotoka mmoja kasichana, kadebo hoshi pa wana, kalikuwa kana jaribu kuniepuka, nakakashika. Kana furuga, we need, praise the name of the Lord. Wachani mchezo buwana. Hallelujah. One time tuliogia na brother Lika, akaniambia metoka maombi ya family. Eh, uko ni, ni, ni ba, sasa bishop tumetoa maombi ya family gari imeka imekaaga watu fulani wamekufa na sijui Dennis ako wapi you are sane bishop analikuwa nali opa sana Dennis ndio kule yale sometimes you may uh, you may ask yourself labda brother alikuwa hata kuawa Usikae level moja na wengine. Pokea mafuta na utawale. Kuna inafulani za mashetani haziishi mpaka. Ata, kuna attack za magojwa. Inakuwa gani kama hereditary. Magojwa inapatana ya shukari, 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 shukari. Unakuta hii, root blood sugar, root blood sugar, ingine, high blood sugar, high blood sugar. Ingine, wakifika miaka furani, kansa eh, ya siju ya tubo, tubo, tubo. A, 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 iyo nyuma na itaji watu wawili watatu watakaoanza bio ya maombi ya kufunga kama siku za Jehoshaphat that Christ says aina kama hii aina kama hii haitasikia anything mpaka mtu aombe na kufunga so siri moja ya mtu kukaa na mamlaka na anointing ni kuwa na mpangilio wa maombi ya kufunga usio haribu usio haribu unatunza kabisa ni kwana maombi ya kufunga mengine ambao hata hukupaga roho wa bwana amekuagiza ukatii na uharibu na kwa hiyo jia mafuta itafanya kazi ajabu may the lord bless you let's start for prayer